Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Katherine Hawney. I'm in the College of Education and I'm a part of the effort to recognize um, black educators for Black History Month. And I'm here with my son, Quinn. Hello. He is gonna talk to us today about one of his favorite teachers. Um, she was a black educator when he was in fifth grade and he happened to have her for two things. She was his math teacher in fifth grade and she was also the drama instructor um, and had a, a major impact on his life. So at that time in your life, um, what was school like? Um, I don't know, it was kind of tough because I had ADHD and I wasn't really taking like medicine for it yet. Um, so it was it was kind of tough. I was having a hard time interacting with my peers and I was having, ha having a hard time staying on focus like like in class. Mm -hmm. So um, it was kind of tough. Uh, but this teacher was really supportive and really helped me to learn in an environment where I was having a tough time. True. Uh, and she was very funny, and she made learning the subject uh, very fun, which was super helpful for me because I had a hard time staying on track when it wasn't interesting, uh, which math is not always. So. Right. Well, I, I, from the outside, from a parent's perspective, um, this was an educator who you could tell she was in a, a majority white area. She was working in a school with very few educators of color, and she was doing something that went above and beyond her teaching duties that involved getting out into the community, bringing in parents and community members and school faculty to try to fund um, an additional effort, which was this humongous and amazing play that she would put on every year with the drama club. And I'm not talking just like a little play. I'm talking a full production play, right? Like costumes, everybody looked amazing. There were dance numbers, there were, I mean, it was incredible, right? It was, it was a lot of fun. So, so uh, Quinn was a big part of of that play and I think from from being his mom from that outside perspective it it made his fifth grade year I played I mean, the comic it... relief character so <laughs> what does yep. that say about me I guess um, this this amazing educator looked for the strengths in her students and found ways to make that a part of this community effort and it it and the whole experience um, was just incredible because of her leadership so we couldn't miss this opportunity to highlight her um, and as I wanted to remind everyone that as my colleague Edward uh, pointed out Dr. Muhammad like to say that black history is made every day by people who go, go unnoticed and unrecognized and we want this educator to be noticed and to be recognized because she is um, truly a benefit to every everyone she touches. We recorded this this video of um, for for Black History Month about um, uh, black educators that like made an impact. Yes. Uh, and I, I talked about you because oh, you right. really kind of changed the way that I approach things. You know, I was kind of in one of those times where I was having difficulty because I, you know, I have ADHD and I wasn't didn't have medicine for it so I was kind of having a tough time uh and drama club and your class yeah. uh th that kind of made everything easier because your class you found it you found a way to make it like really engaging oh. at the same time as learning wow. uh so it was it was just excellent you know like I've, I've been thinking about it a lot yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, we, we were talking too about the he, he talks about the, the medicine for ADHD but he's learned so many new skills and habits and I feel like a lot of that started in drama club it was amazing how he took some of that confidence that he gained from the role that he had and and all that you guys worked on together um, with him sort of working with his peers and public speaking yeah is a big yes. thing yeah, and just sort of ran with it. So you just, you have no idea what a big impact you made on him and his academic career from there. And he's just doing so well now. I mean, it, it just loved his time with you. So. Well, I loved, I loved working with Quinn because he had a big personality. 
And that's what I enjoy. You know, he was a fun kid. And so I, I just enjoyed my time with you. And I just think about how talented you were. And, and well, I guess you still are. I just haven't seen you in a little, a little while. Um, you've grown up on me. But um, just to see you on stage and how you came out. And we were looking. I saw one child in the classroom. You've always been creative. So you had your own um, identity. I'll say that. But then when you were able to get on stage, it was like a totally different person that we experienced in your acting, which was amazing. And you were a natural. So it, you know, it's just, I'm just so thankful, first of all, that you would think about me. And second of all, just to hear about your progress and how far you've come. So you'll forever be in my heart. 